All right, welcome to the WordPress MU or WordPress MU, depending on uh, how you want to pronounce it. You'll probably hear me say it both ways. The uh, the WordPress MU installation video. Uh, WordPress MU is very easy to install, just like WordPress proper is, uh, but uh, it's a little bit different because of the fact that it allows you to have multiple blogs and multiple users for those blogs. The first thing we do is go to mu.wordpress.org, and that's this right here. Again, that URL is mu dot wordpress dot org not dot com dot org and we're going to click on the download tab here and then if you're on a, a windows or mac platform you can download the dot zip if you're on linux you're going to download the dot uh, tar dot gz i'm guessing that if you're on linux you're probably not watching this video so i'm going to go with the dot zip um, and then we're going to i'm going to click open because i don't really want to save the zip file i want to save what's inside of it and then once it downloads it pops up and you can see the folder here you want to click extract all files and then choose where to extract them I'm going to click on browse I'm going to come down here to WordPress development WordPress MU you can install them anywhere I suggest somewhere on your desktop just to make it easy to find um, but again it can be anywhere as long as you remember where you put it click extract and it's going to extract the files this does take a little bit of time because there are so many files in here uh, there, WordPress is a, a pretty big system when you get down and look at the actual files in it. Uh, you can see there's 857 files in this zip file. They're not very big files, but there are that many files nonetheless. So it's going to take a little bit of time to extract. Okay, now that that's done, I actually skipped over most of it so you didn't have to sit for a few minutes and wait for it to unzip for me. You'll see the folder come up. You can double click on the folder and you see the files in here from WordPress MU. Next thing we need to do is upload that to the site that you're going to install the whole system on. Like I said in this the uh, the welcome start here post, I highly recommend HostGator for hosting, especially for WordPress hosting because they do such a great job. Their tech support is wonderful. They always know what they're what they're talking about and what they're doing. Um, so definitely if you don't have hosting, go with HostGator. If you do have hosting, hopefully they uh, they have updated systems and everything like that. But what we're going to do is we're going to FTP this up to our server. And FTP, some people hear the word FTP or the I guess the letters FTP and think it's something really, really hard and technical. It's not at all. And I'm going to show you how to really do it really quick. And so the first thing I'm going to do is fire up Firefox. And now what we're going to do is go to Tools. And you can see I already have Fire FTP installed. But you'll go to Add-ons. And in here, you can type Fire FTP and hit enter. Uh, the only thing that comes up in here for me is fire FTP button uh, but you'll see a second entry or I guess it'll probably be the first entry this will be the second but it'll say fire FTP and it'll have a little blue dragon looking icon there uh, next to it but you're gonna wanna just click add to Firefox follow the instructions it's literally a, a one or two click install and then once you install it it'll be under tools fire FTP and there's that little dragon I was talking about it'll be bigger on the other one but um, if you click fire FTP and when you first open up Fire FTP, you're not going to have any uh, sites listed under this little drop-down. Uh, but what you're going to want to do is click the Create an Account tab. And what that's going to let you do is enter an account name. This can be anything. Your host is going to be just your domain name or ftp.yourdomainname.com or, or whatever. Uh, you'll get that from your hosting provider. Your login and your password, obviously that's your login name and your password. Um, and then you don't have to worry about connection or advanced most of the time. But if you fill out this information and hit OK, then it'll pop up in this list over here. And I'm going to choose Flurry Marketing for the account that I want. Scroll down and find the site that I want to upload everything to. Next thing I need to do is select everything in my WordPress MU directory, and that's wherever you uh, extracted the zip file to, that's where this is going to show up. So I went ahead and found it in my file system, and then I'm going to hit the right arrow, and it's going to go ahead and upload it to my site for me. FTP is literally that easy to use. It takes about a minute to set up, and it takes a couple of minutes to upload everything up to your site. Uh, there's nothing scary and no reason to, uh, <laughs> to, to be 
overwhelmed by it at all, and I know that a whole lot of people do, so I hope that this made it nice and easy for you. This is the only time we need to FTP anything if you're using HostGator. If you're using a different hosting company, then it might be a little bit different. Uh, it'll depend on your company, but HostGator actually allows you to use WordPress to update itself right inside of it.